Yep, got my check today. So, how much was it for? Not to be bobby about it. A thousand dollars. That's right. You're going to have dinner with the man who made a thousand dollars today. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, well, that's a pretty generous bonus. Yep. Not quite as good as last year, but people just aren't grilling like they did last year. Boy, last year was something else. So the way I figure it, my dad makes a thousand dollars a day. That's three hundred and sixty-five thousand dollars a year. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. But check it out. He's been doing it for twenty years. That's seven million three hundred thousand dollars. No way. Yeah. And he barely spends a dime. So he's got all that money just sitting around. What's he spending it on? Our house? Tch, that thing cost a million, maybe two million tops. I don't know. Are you sure about this? There's got to be something somewhere that proves we're rich. Oil records? Why is it locked? Because it's about my dad's secret oil wells. My dad's got oil. Dude, you're rich. You're, you're really rich. I am. This is so cool. Tell you what, Bobby. What say we tally-ho it over to the money room? Capital idea, Dad. Capital. Son. Thank you, Father. I don't know, Bobby. We've lived next door to you guys for a long time. You don't seem rich. I mean, you guys don't have half the stuff we do, and everything you do have, we have a better version of. Well, my dad's always going off about how cheap stuff is just as good as expensive stuff. He spent half of dinner last night saying... Anyone who says they can tell the difference between this and real Coca-Cola is lying, I tell you what. Well, I guess it's possible. Maybe your dad is one of those rich misers. A what? A lot of rich people are just crazy. They hang on to every penny. Howard Hughes would wear Kleenex boxes on his feet. And he wrote a whole instruction manual on the exact way his staff should serve him a peach. My dad wrote a 13-step system for putting away groceries. Oh, and there was this woman... They called her the Witch of Wall Street. She was so cheap that when her son got sick, she wouldn't even pay for a doctor, and they had to cut the kid's leg off. Gross. <laughs> Look at him, breaking his back to wash his truck. Oh, God, I don't want to lose my leg. Can you imagine the cheap fake leg he's going to buy me? He'll probably just make it himself out of a broom handle and a shoehorn. I don't think he's that crazy. Yet. But I can't take any chances. He just needs to loosen up. Maybe if I can get him to spend a little money and see it's not the end of the world, he won't go crazy. Hey, go ask him to buy us some horses. We'll ride him to school. We'll be legends. No, I've got to find something he likes. Ease him into prying open that wallet of his. When he sees how much fun it is, there won't be anything standing between me and that sweet ching-a-ching-ching. -ching. 